Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Tracy. I'm a registered acupuncturist and I'm a yoga teacher. Please join me in this fairly short sequence to get the body feeling a little limber, a little more balanced, and just feeling like yourself. Welcome to my patio. It's still a little warm outside. We're still summer here in Toronto, Canada. And um, I just love being outside if I can, feeling a little of that vitamin D and of course that fresh air. If you have an opportunity to practice where your feet are not in shoes and they are actually not even on a patio, but rather on grass where you can feel a little more grounded, do that. I really encourage you to do that so that you feel grounded and you're really connected to mother nature. Okay, let's start our practice. Have your feet hip width distance apart, knees on top of the ankle, shoulders stacked on top of the waist. We're gonna go ahead and take the arms all the way up for a big stretch up to the sky. And then exhale, take your hands to the heart. We're gonna start our practice with the intention of health and happiness and feeling limber and balanced. Breathe in and out. One more breath in and out. Well done. Take your hands down onto your thighs. I'd like you to start with a cow pose. We're gonna open up the chest, roll the shoulders back and down, stick the tailbone out, open up the heart, inhaling here, and then exhaling, rounding the back, chin into the chest, draw the belly to the back, reach your fingers to the front, cow pose. Great. Inhaling, exhaling. Inhaling, exhaling. In and out. So when we do this, we're just articulating the spine, connecting breath with movement. Breathe in, exhale, breathe out. Well done. We're gonna come back to a neutral spine here. I'd like you to take the arms all the way up. Breathe in, high tend to the skies. Breathe out, relax the shoulders, take your hands down. Good, breathing in, out, breathe out. Well done, inhaling, exhale, breathing out. Remember, if there's anything that you don't like, or if there's fe if anything feeling a little wacky, we're gonna stop or slow down. Otherwise, we're gonna connect breath and movement and enjoy this little stretch here. Breathe in and out. Well done. We're gonna take our hands to the sides. I'd like you to take your left arm all the way up and sway to the side. Okay, so in this part of the stretch, we wanna really try to stretch the intercostal spaces of our ribs, opening up the lung space, opening up the rib space. Good. Breathe in, lift up, tight belly, and breathe out. Let's do the other side. Inhale, lift and breathe out, sway. Just be conscious. Am I opening up, am I relaxing enough to get a gentle stretch into the rib space here? Breathing in, come on back up, tight belly, and breathe out. So we're gonna do that a few more times. Inhale, lift, exhale, sway. You got it. Inhale, lift, exhale, release. Breathing in, tight belly, exhale, sway. Breathing in, up, and release. Other side, breathe in, exhale, sway, relax those shoulders. Breathing in, and release. Inhale, exhaling. In, and release. Well done, let's roll the shoulders out for three, two, one, perfect. Take the arms all the way up, reach all the way up, and then exhale, release down. Again, breathing in, arms up, take the fingertips behind you, and then push them out in front. Okay, again, breathing in, breathing out, fingers behind, inhale, lift, and release. Well done. Okay, from here, hands to the heart, we're gonna go for a twist to the right. So that's this way for you. Good, come on back to center. And let's go to the left. 
Nice tight, tight belly, tall spine. Okay, back to center again. Turn. Keep on breathing. Back to center. Are you keeping your belly nice and tight? Turn. Back to center. Well done. From here, I'd like you to take your fingertips on top of the shoulders and go ahead and we're gonna kind of uh, just open them up like kind of propellers here. And as you do this, I'd like you to just don't sink your sits bones into the seat. Allow them to move so you have mobility into the hips. Perfect. You feel that? And then we're going to the other way, going forward. And don't forget to breathe. We don't want to ever hold our breath through any of these sequences. Always connecting breath with movement. Okay, perfect. Now from here, both elbows are gonna come up, lift up, chest up, breathe in, and release the hands down. <sighs> Great. Okay, from here, let's take our hands down onto the thighs again. And this time, we're just going to turn the head to the right, come back to center. Turn the head to the left, come back to center. Take your right ear to right shoulder, Come back to center, left ear to left shoulder, sitting nice and tall still, back to center. Good, draw the chin in, so not down, but rather back, and then down. There you go, feeling a nice long stretch of the back of the neck, and then draw the belly in and still look, let's look up to the sky, breathing. And then let's release back to center. Well done. So from here, we're gonna go ahead and start to work a little bit on the fingers and then a little more expansion of the arms. Okay, so go ahead. Imagine that you are playing a little piano in front of you. Okay. So I always like to work on the fingers because as we age, we forget that these digits are everything that we use on a daily basis and that we need to sometimes strengthen them, okay? And um, I have a lot of family members that are suffering from arthritis now in their fingers. And so this is gonna be a nice little practice where we're putting mobility, we're getting the chi and the blood moving, and then we're gonna also help to massage them. So I want you to see if you can add this into your daily practice. Okay, so we're gonna, we've done that. I'm sure you feel fatigue. We're gonna go ahead and shake out the wrists and the hands. Wonderful. And then we're gonna clasp our hands together and go ahead and roll out those wrists gently. Okay, breathing. And then we're gonna go ahead and rotate them the other way. And then let's go ahead and woo. We're gonna do a little roller coaster wave and see if you can do it the both ways. Always one way feels like more fluid than the other. And that's what I encourage you to do both because both sides, both ways, because what it does, it's really good for the brain. Okay, from here, I want you to take, start with one hand and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna kind of massage and rotate our other hand and we're gonna massage our, um, each one of our fingers. So I want you to grasp onto one hand and we're gonna rub, rub, rub and squeeze and then I want you to squeeze onto the thumb and then kind of almost snap it like that, okay? We call that nipping in uh, Chinese medicine. It's called, it's from Tuena, which is therapeutic massage on the meridians. And there's oftentimes where I would do this to a patient in the clinic when they're feeling a little sluggish, um, maybe they have a little bit of heat in the body. And so what we wanna do is we want to um, stimulate all of these uh, meridians but also we're stimulating the tendons and the blood in that space so that we won't have, we won't suffer from any maybe deformity in our fingers um, and that our digits are gonna feel very fluid and um, comfortable. Okay, so we're gonna rub, 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 squeeze onto the nail bed and then snap out, okay? Let's go with the other one. Rub, 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 kind of twisting, twisting a little bit. Rub, 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 warming it up. Be giving it a little extra love, squeeze onto the nail bed, and then snap. Great, let's do the middle finger, rub, 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 squeeze, snap, rub, 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 rub,
squeeze, snap. You get the you get the uh, the gist of it, right? And we're gonna end with our baby and squeeze and snap. Now, before we go to the other hand, I want you to take notice. How does the hand that you were rubbing and snapping feel compared to the working hand, which had no chi or blood kind of extra energy motion to it? Doesn't the one that had all of that work done to it, doesn't it feel more alive, feel more light and free, whereas the other one feels a little more heavy and stagnated? And that's the purpose of Chinese medicine, getting rid of those stagnations, feeling a little bit more fluid and free and more balanced. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with the other hand. We're gonna start with the thumb. I'm gonna rub, rub, rub. I'm gonna squeeze and snap. Go with the index finger next. Rub, rub, rub. Squeeze, snap. Rub, rub, rub. Oh, I got myself a little crack there. Rub, rub, rub. Squeeze, snap. Don't forget. Don't forget to breathe, okay? Don't hold your breath with any of this, please. Rub, rub, rub. Squeeze, snap. And then last, the baby finger, rub, 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 squeeze, and snap. Okay, Ooh, shake, shake, shake. Ah, <sighs> breathe. Oh, I think my little doggy's joining us. I don't know if he's in the frame, but maybe you'll see him at Brewster there. Okay, so from here, I'd like you to take your arms all the way up. Breathe. Ah, we did it. And breathe out. Okay, from here, I'd like you to press the right foot into the ground, lift up the right foot, and go ahead and cross your leg. Okay, from here, you're gonna feel a little bit of a uh, stretch into the hip. We have this gorgeous hip hair area, which definitely gets tight from sitting. And so with this little figure four stretch, because if you look down, you're looking at the number four here. This is great to open up the fascia. Now. If you're feeling a little more stiff today, we're not gonna go ahead um, and melt so deeply. But if you are feeling a little more limber, more warm, go ahead and do that. But we're always being conscious of how we're feeling. So sit up nice and tall. If this is enough for you and you're already feeling this in your hip, a decent stretch, you're gonna stay right here. If you want a little bit more, I want you to lead with your chest hinge at the waist, and when you feel a little bit more of an oomph into that hip, you're gonna go ahead and round the upper back and melt down here. And from here, relax everything. Go ahead and breathe for three deep breaths. Breathing in and out. Inhaling, exhaling, breathing in and out. Okay, to come out of this pose, we have to engage our belly muscles and press ourselves up. Wonderful. And then of course, our fingers, our, these digits got some work to it, so we're gonna have to go ahead and do the feet because they're gonna be jealous. Okay, so from here, I'd like you to, I'm encouraging you to tap or smack onto the bottom of your foot. I mean, when's the last time you've ever done this? Maybe never. So go ahead and have yourself, um, your hand into a fist, and I want you to tap, Smack the bottom of your foot. Again, what we're doing is stimulating the meridians. The meridian on the bottom of the foot is actually your kidneys, related to your lower back. So we're gonna go ahead and tap, tap, tap here. And I'm gonna go ahead and massage. I'm gonna go ahead and grab onto my feet and just rub with my thumbs. I'm gonna give myself a little massage here. It feels really yummy and really good. Yes, great. And if you feel, if you want to press into the arch of your foot, the actual arch, and you're feeling a little bit of tenderness there, that's actually um, considered the spleen channel. And the spleen is related to our digestion. So if you're feeling it's a little bit more grumpy in that space, I'm going to go out and encourage you to maybe spend a little bit more time there and also perhaps press a little more firmly, okay? But be careful and be good to yourself. Make sure you're being nice and honoring and respecting the body, okay? It's not necessarily a you know, no pain, no gain situation, but you wanna definitely stimulate this, the, the spleen and the kidney channels of your body by pressing into the arch and tapping on the bottom of the foot. Now, we're gonna go ahead and twist and rub each one of these toes. So twist, rub, big toe, squeeze the nail,
nail bed and snap it out. Second toe, rub, 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 squeeze the toe and snap. Other foot, squeeze. And then squeeze the nail bed and snap. Rub, 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 squeeze, snap. Rub, 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 squeeze and snap. The toes are much shorter than the, the nails, um, than the fingers, so that works a little bit faster. So I'm gonna go ahead and rub, and then I'm gonna encourage you to take your fingers, intertwine them into the toes, okay, as best as you can. So if the toes have not been separated in a while, whoosh, this is gonna be a big one for you. Go ahead and see if you can do that, and then we're gonna rotate the ankle. So I'm going one way, I'm starting clockwise. There's no right or wrong, wrong way of which way you start. And then I'm going the opposite direction. Whoosh, my ankle's all rickety rickety here. Feels good. So by putting this motion in, I'm adding some lotion. So I'm, I'm stimulating the synovial fluid, hyaluronic acid of my body, and it's gonna be rushing into that space. Okay. Beautiful. Now undo the fingers. Ooh, give yourself fingers a little shake and then help that leg release it. Well done. Now I'm going to encourage you to take your hands and smack down and up. Okay? We're tapping and engaging the belly muscles to support our lower back. Tap and up. Okay, one more time. Tap and up. Well done. Okay, let's do the other side. Plant that let, uh, right foot into the earth, lift up the other foot, and cross it. Oosh. Okay, now go ahead. Let's rub to the lower um, low, oh, uh, bottom of the foot, and then go ahead and smack it, tap it. And if your feet are cold, this is such a wonderful practice to do because what you're doing is you're allowing more chi, more blood to get to the extremities, okay? So you're really assisting in that beautiful blood flow for the whole body. So we're gonna go and tap and rub. And you may notice one foot feels grumpier than the other, so give it maybe a little more attention. And then go ahead and see what is the arch of your foot feel like, the spleen channel. Seems like my left side was more grumpy than the, uh, the right. This is very common. We say that the left side of the body is the yin hemisphere of the body, which is usually a little more depleted than the yang side. So I'm pressing a little more firmly into the arch of my foot. And then now I'm gonna rub, rub, rub into my big toe, squeeze onto the nail bed and snap it. Second toe, I'm gonna rub, 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 squeeze onto the toe, nail bed and snap, middle, Squeeze, squeeze, rub, rub, squeeze and snap. Rub, 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 whoosh. That ring toe is a doozy, whoosh. And then let's do the last one. Little baby toe gives a little, need a little love here. Squeeze and snap. Well done. Take those fingers, intertwine them, interlace them between those toes. Notice if one side's grumpier than the other. And then go ahead and rotate. Okay, one way. Let's go the other way. We're doing everything in the reverse backward mode. Okay, how's that feel? We're gonna release. Now from here, we're gonna stay here, breathe into that hip. Or if this feels good, we're gonna draw the belly and lead with the chest, hinge at the waist, come on forward for three delicious breaths. Breathe in and out. Inhaling. We're gonna to try to relax on the exhale, breathe out. In and out. Okay, tight belly, come on up. Head tight belly. We're gonna take that leg and we're going to release it down. Same thing as we did to close on the other side, we're going to tap, 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 tap. But I want you to take notice. Without doing all that tapping, notice the toes, how they feel a little more equal, but the legs feels, the, the leg that we haven't smacked yet, 
is feeling a little heavy, a little stagnant. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So we're going to tap down and up. Tight belly, come on up. Inhale. Okay. Sit tall. Down. And up. Inhaling. Coming up. Tight belly as you come up. Down. And up. Okay. How, does you, how do you feel? How is everything feeling now? Take your hands down to the thighs. Open up for a well-deserved cow pose. Inhale air. And then exhale. Oh, breathe out. Okay, again, breathing in and out. Great. Come on back to center and let's go ahead and do something a little bit more energetic. Okay, so we're going to extend our foot in front of us. See how that feels. And if you need to take your hands on top of the, um, of the handlebars, please do so. Okay, so you feel comfortable and then release. Actually, I think I feel more comfortable doing this today. Sometimes I feel better to do this. It's your choice, okay? So we're gonna extend and release. Extend and release. Extend and release. Tight belly the whole time, tall spine. Extend and release. Extend and release. Extend and release. Do you wanna try it with arms? So we're gonna take the arms up. Breathe in now. Extend, hands down, and release, arms up. Breathe in, extend, down, and release. Breathe in, extend, breathe out, and release, and out. In, out, in, out, in, out with the breath, in with the breath. Tight belly, out with the breath, in with the breath. Out with the breath, in with the breath. Out with the breath, in with the breath. Now, let's try lifting up the leg. In with the breath, out with the breath. In with the breath, out with the breath with tight belly. In with the breath, out with the breath. In, out, in, out, in, out. Last one, breathe in, breathe out. Well done. Okay, I'm gonna release, hands come down. I'm gonna widen my feet a little bit here. I'm gonna go ahead and take my hands down onto my thighs here and I'm gonna go ahead and do a little side twist taking my right left arm part of me up and down scoop okay again up and scoop and up and scoop okay release the hand down other side up and scoop up and scoop tight belly inhale open up the chest loose belly and then maybe squeeze tight belly good tight belly to come on up so engage the belly muscles take your hands onto the thighs roll yourself up breathe in and out now we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of a circle roll here i love this for my lower back and my waist it feels really great if you have enough room so great and don't forget to breathe. So inhaling, coming in as though you're doing a little cow pose. Exhale, a little bit of a cat. Breathing in and out. In, out. And let's go the other way. Breathe again and out. Ooh. Keep on breathing in and out. You'll notice one side maybe a little more fluid. In, out. One more time. Breathing in and out. Whoosh. Okay, I'm going to toe heel my feet in to prepare to close our practice. We're going to take our arms all the way up, high tend to the heavens here. And then exhale, breathe out. 
come on all the way up with the heart. Hand to the hands pressed together and then let's bring them closer to the heart. We'll do that one more time, breathing in and exhale, breathe out. Let's go for a twist, breathe in, exhale, twist. Inhale, come out back to center, exhale, twist. Good, come on back to center. Well, that closes our practice. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this. Please send me a comment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up. I look forward to hearing from you. Peace and namaste. Here's my doggy. Rooster.